Firstly, go to the web page shown in the link below. This will take you to this page. First, we need to connect the micro bit. So click on the connect button and some instructions will pop up. Make sure you've connected your version to micro bit. We then need to download the hex file. Save this somewhere on your computer. Once it's downloaded, which can take a couple of seconds, you need to drag this hex file onto the micro bit drive or copy and paste, whichever way you prefer. This can take a few seconds and it will then take a few seconds for the micro bit to reset. Once the micro bit has reset, go back to the microcode screen, click the connect, click the micro bit, and click on connect. A very brief overview. We have a menu button which will bring you back to this screen. We have a reset button which I won't cover here. We have an editor screen and we have some example programs. We're going to go into the examples and we're going to select the one with a heart on it. If we now look at the actual display of the micro bit, we can see the code has automatically downloaded and we get a flashing heart. Anytime the code is updated, it is automatically downloaded to the micro bit. Back on the editor screen, we click Menu, we go back to the examples, and I'm choosing the second one. Again, going back to the micro bit, the code has automatically been downloaded. If I press the A button, I get a smiley face. If I press the B button, I get a sad face. Smiley face, sad face. Back to the main menu. This time we're going to the editor screen and we're going to make our own program. First of all, I have to delete the existing program by clicking on the white square and then clicking on the trash bin. This leaves us with the ability to write our own programs. First of all, I'm going to select a when button pressed icon. We now need to tell it which button, in this case button A. We now need to tell it what we want to happen when that button is pressed. In this case, I want it to do something on the screen of the micro bit. What do we want it to display on the micro bit screen? I'm going to change the default smiley face to a letter that you may recognize. Just click on each square to either set it or unset it. This represents the display on the micro bit. Click off the editor. I'm now going to set up a second set of instructions. Again, I want a when button pressed. This time I want button B. Again, I want it to do something to the screen on the micro bit. This time I want it to clear the screen. At the moment, the only way I can find of doing this is to just click on all the lit squares to unlight them. Finally, I'm going to set up a third set of instructions. Again, when button pressed. This time I want the capacitive button and this time I want it to play a sound and I have to select the sound so I just selected one at random. Again the code is automatically downloaded to the micro bit, there's no need to copy anything. Moving to the micro bit display when I press the left button, I get the letter F. When I press the right button, I clear the screen. If I then press the capacitive touch button, I get a sound effect to play.